Okay, two minute trainer, checking in campers. So it can get pretty crazy at a campground in the summer or in high season on a Friday afternoon. We all know that. Um, I know not to call a campground then. You guys call me if you need me. What do you do when you're checking in campers? First of all, take a cue from the teller at the bank or the post office. One person at a time. There's certain things that you need to do. People are excited. Um, they could be tired from a journey. Just make sure that you go through the process that you've established at your park um, one person at a time. And that includes um, giving them all the sign-in information, have them sign and complete waivers, park guidelines, um, and if they have a dog, you should be collecting uh, information about, you know, whether the dog has uh, its shots, etc. It also really helps a lot if you can go over some of the basics. Um, you want to really mix hospitality uh, with explaining the rules in a way that makes people feel comfortable and not alienated. So explaining how they get to their, um, their sites, but also, okay, you're going here or whatever, but you'll see that people are walking around with their dogs. We only have them on a six foot leash. Um, children, you're going to see that there's dogs here. We ask that you um, don't approach the dogs unless you're both your parents and the dog owners say it's okay. Um, you know, be aware that certain things are going on here. Be aware that we have, for example, a jumping pillow and that there's rules that have to be applied, but it's really fun and they'll go through all the rules with you if you guys want to get involved in that. Um, do they have any special needs? Just a lot of it really, it's common sense, but when you explain things to people, it helps a lot. And, you know, just because you're giving them something on a paper, I would say for every paper that you give them, if you can think of a way to explain it to them in a friendly way that's helpful, but that also reinforces the rules, it's going to help your job be a lot easier over time. Remember, we want to educate our campers about how we do things here. We want them to feel comfortable, to feel welcome. So that's all the things that you're doing. Now, keep in mind, the whole time you're observing. Um, and you're usually the front line for the park. And 99% of the time, the people that come into camp are salt of the earth. They're great people. But if a red flag goes off in your head, make sure you pay attention to that. And that might be the type of thing where you just feel a little bit uneasy. And you know what? Maybe, maybe it's nothing. Maybe you're wrong. But it's very important to pay attention, attention to your instincts. Communicate it with your manager. You know what? Such and such on site one, two, three came in. And it may be nothing, but why don't you do an extra loop around their, uh, by their campsite? Or why don't you check in with them a little bit more? Um, rule of thumb is... If, if you're unsure, if somebody's new, if you have a little red flag that goes off in your head, keep them just, keep those campers just a little bit closer. Uh, explain the rules a little bit more, engage them a little bit more, and, and that's a way to maybe bring them into the fold. Hey, you don't know, the more you talk to them, they might say, this is my first time camping, I have no idea what to do. I've had park owners come up to me and say, I had to put up a tent for these people because they had no idea. So you just don't know what their experiences are, but you have so much power to influence the situation in a positive way. So make it a great experience for them and make it a great summer for yourself.